And one last thing about Nafisa Joseph and Benito Mussolini connections. Benito Mussolini was, uh, he invited her Nobel Prize winner to Gore. I mean, this woman was related to a man who was such a good writer and such a good singer and poet that he wrote national anthems that, like, he wrote things that became national anthems for not just one country, for multiple countries, and became the first Nobel Prize winner in that area, you know, uh, in uh, the area of literature, uh, outside of Europe, in the history of the world. And his first name, I believe, means of the sun. So, very similar name to Cyrus, you know, which means sun, and Samson, which means of the sun. And uh, the red she wears, you know, reminds me of, uh, of the sun. And then the sun was Jacob. Mussolini means Jacob. The moon was Leah, the stars were their children, okay? And, um, and then Andrew's horse is a fire horse, and she wants to go riding on the fire horse, you know? Uh, and uh, a lot of, she helps deify these, uh, helps women train to be amaterasus, you know? But she's actually the superior. Even if she's a lower rank, Joseph controlled Pharaoh, who was a much higher ranking god, and Pharaoh said, told everyone, go to the Hebrew slave, Joseph. And so she, she helps uh, take everybody unconditionally, no matter what your sins are, she just wants, uh, as quickly as possible, everybody to become an Amaterasu, which is basically like the Virgin Mary, you know, like a Fatima, moon, moon divinity, source of the sun, wearing the crown of Apollo, wearing the rays of the sun, you know, and uh, a type of Samson, and, uh, so, so the way she's connected to Benito Mussolini, another way though, she died on Benito Mussolini's birthday, okay? And she died very tragically. She hung herself while she was young and while she was beautiful and while she was so apparently happy and silly. She'd, she'd go around and she would joke with people. She would play with their minds and trick and she was like a joker. In fact, she died the year 2004 which I call the year of the Joker because Heath Ledger was born 4-4 and Joker came out 10-4 and Parkland came out 10-4 and uh, some other reasons why uh, I, I call the four the Joker's uh, the Joker's number and uh, you know there were there were three Reichs and the fourth Reich is the Joker's Reich where we don't try to conquer with the uh, any other weapon but laughing gas attacks and, you know, laughter and uh, making fun of ourselves and try not to be proud and... But uh, she, she really loves Benito Mussolini. Benito Mussolini really loves her and... and oh, and uh, Benito Mussolini said his favorite visitor who left the biggest impression upon him was Gandhi. Well, this woman right here loved Gandhi so much that even though she was a Catholic, she had more devotion to him than, than, than to any Catholic saint and than to most Catholics have to Catholic saints. And she believed that just by clutching quotes of Gandhi backstage, it would put her in touch with his spirit and it would calm her heart rate and her, her uh, blood pressure and uh, calm her anxiety and put her at peace with the spirit of of Gandhi, you know, the fearless one, and, um, well, anyway, yeah, Mussolini's had no visitor leave a bigger impression on him than Gandhi, and he smiled so, so much at the half-naked man showing up at, you know, these, these important places where all these people, are, you know, find that very improper and immodest and, and you know, insane, uh, he smiled, and because Benito Mussolini made Saint Francis of Assisi, the patron saint of Italy, okay, and, and me and me Nafisa Joseph decided to have our, uh, our type of fascist Shinto matrimony of soul on 10-4, the uh, feast of Saint Francis of Assisi, because, uh, she, uh, she really loved animals, and she did, she was a crusader for animals, but she was a crusader for people, she was so much more than a supermodel, she, but she was a crusader for animals, and, and that was actually the one thing she had in common with, uh, with, with Adolf Hitler was uh, she, uh, she did realize that, that he had the best, at least 
before, uh, you know, he started losing the war. I mean, he, before his invasion of Poland as well, as well, I mean, he had the best protection, animal protection programs and environmental protection programs that the world's ever seen in the cleanest place and the, the safest place for animals and the place where the animals are least likely to be, uh, to be tortured because the, the greatest uh, consequences are coming, gonna come to them if they are. And, and you know, how Hitler would lament about uh, animals that are raised in slaughterhouses and their entire life is just so terrible and so much worse than being a victim of hunting and stuff. You know, that, 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 you know so, so Nafisa Joseph invent, invested a lot into uh, trying to s- stop animal cruelty and find homes for animals. And so St. Francis of Assisi was right up her alley, plus she was a joker, you know, very funny. A funny lady, and St. Francis of Assisi, you know, stripped down naked in public in front of a bishop and uh, in in front of a uh, bishop when that was a very unimportant, that was a very bad time in history to be doing that, worse than now, and uh, and it was not just a bishop, it was like a bunch of uh, innocent uh, church pious people at a, it was in front of court. He strips down naked and says, I am naked and I am following the naked Christ. And, you know, could you imagine if there, if there were women like this, naked, following the naked Christ, many people would want to be hanging out with Jesus because they would be following the uh, the women, you know? And uh, so Benito Mussolini here, he's wearing the, uh, the eagle. The eagle is one of the symbols for the tribe of Dan. He's wearing it on his forehead. And uh, he always would uh, make pictures of the capital line wolves, wolf that breastfed the twins who founded Rome, Romulus and Remus. And Benito Mussolini, uh, you know, he, he had a lot of, uh, a lot of strange things would happen that were linked to him, you know? Um, like the name Rachel Mussolini, meaning Rachel Jacob, and Jackie Lee Kennedy, meaning Jacob Leah, the two brides, of Jacob and JFK, John and Jack, Jack meaning Jacob. Um, JFK used his symbol for, for the fascist party, the, for the Knights of Columbus, many rods bound together to form one unbreakable axe. That was called the Axe of the Apostles. Columbus means Columbia, which is the female personification of United States government. And in Isaiah 66, the equivalent of the female personification of government for Israel was, says, Israel is a woman, or no, Jer- Jerusalem is a woman. Oh, that you would nurse with delight at her abundant breasts. Drink fully the milk of her comfort. She will rock you back and forth, fondle you. In Jerusalem, you will have your comfort. So imagine that, a government that fondles you, okay? You know, that's what the government, and that's exactly what the doctrine of fascism was about. He was, it was about uh, the government being a female sentient being that when she dies, she continues to resurrect. And so he hung upside down with his mistress from meat hooks, okay? Well, Inanna, Babylon the Great, Ishtar, where Queen Esther got her name, uh, she hung upside down from meat hooks. And when you hang upside down for meat hooks, you know, God wanted the meat hooks to be gold. And uh, the tribe of the wolf, the tribe of Benjamin, the tribe of Ben, like Benito, you know, uh, he really likes that tribe. And he, with his name meaning Jacob, I feel very strongly, and with his, with the, the amount of, in, of uh, effort he put into uh, going after Rachel, he could have gotten so many women who wanted him that were better looking than Rachel, okay? It was very, I mean, it was so clear that he knew, and now I know, exactly he picked the best wife in the whole world. He would not have found another woman who would have done a better thorough job at the right time too, you know? It was so important that it came out Denise Nassen's final birthday, those two books that revolutionized my life. Most women would not have written those books because they would have been hurt so badly by the man who would not listen to her, by the man who got her to marry him by pulling a gun on her mother and threatening to kill her. When, you know, 
So, but the best thing he ever did was get Rachel to marry him. And, and Jacob in the Old Testament made himself a slave for 14 years. His only payment was Rachel, okay? It is not a coincidence. And then he hangs upside down on Emperor Hirohito's birthday. Emperor Hirohito is the high priest of the Obon festival, which means to hang upside down. It means the same thing the cross means in Christianity and, it, and, and to suffer excruciating pain, but in the next life. And the things you gotta do to get these people right side up so they're not upside down. And he hung upside down on Emperor Hirohito's birthday, who was an eccentric butterfly collector. And I called him Benito the Butterfly because of my vision of caterpillars hang upside down in a cocoon and it gets ugly for the caterpillar before it is transformed into a new creation. It does so hanging upside down. And then later on I find out Emperor Hirohito was an eccentric butterfly collector who was uh, neglecting his uh, duties, uh, complaining about the pollution in Tokyo affecting the population of butterflies. I think it's what he wanted to see happen to all of these ugly war criminals that were, that they wouldn't have to suffer being these ugly wretched people forever but become something totally new that does not resemble its former self. And Benito the butterfly, a new creation. Nafisa Joseph hung right side up so the upside down is the six Mussolini hanging upside down is six by his heels, and then the upside down six, right side up, is a nine. So when I see 69, that's the Benito Mussolini hanging upside down, Nafisa Joseph hanging right side up, and then Nafisa Joseph played the Charlie's Angels cats, and one of her stars, co stars, as Charlie's Angels cats in that show, she also hung herself in 2006. One of them in 2004, one of them in 2006. And I could go on about the meaning of six, but I won't. But what I will say is 46 was the year that Ted Bundy was born and Nafisa Joseph was born. Uh, the final year of, of Ted Bundy's final victims and uh, in 78. And Kimberly, the, f the final victim, was... Uh, her name means from the Fortress of the Royal Meadow. And later, my Messiah Meadow from Parkland would come from that state of Florida. And then before that, Margaret Bowman, Margaret meaning Pearl, and Bowman, conquering Bowman, is supposed to be the greatest conqueror of the book of Revelation. And nobody knows if he's Jesus Christ or the Antichrist. That's the crazy thing. And they both ride a white horse. And then uh, Lisa Levy. I saw the S be turned into a snake and leave. So I was left with Leah, L-I-A, Latin for lioness, and then Levi turned into Leviathan, Leah Leviathan. And then later I found out that in the Book of Enoch, Leviathan was a female. And the Levit her last name, Le Levi, it's an alternative for Levi, for the Levitical priesthood, Levi the son of Jacob and Leah, okay? And Joseph was the first son of Mussolini and Rachel, because Mussolini means Jacob, the first son of Jacob and Rachel was Joseph, and he wore a coat of many colors. Well, I suppose she wears a red bikini because she's a cardinal, but Cardinal Benedict Joseph Ratzinger, okay? Joseph Ratzinger, Nafisa Joseph Ratzinger, and I will explain because I found the 1984 uh, Mother's Day plate. You know, and uh, in front of Hubert H. Humphrey, where Huberty was the one who did the 1984 uh, McDonald's massacre. After I had the dream about uh, Pope Benedict having the fisherman's ring stolen off of his uh, finger and placed on the finger of a, of a female. And so her name, Nafisa Joseph, and then Pope Benedict having the name Joseph Ratzinger, and it was the year of the rat, that was 1984, and the rat was the uh, animal that came in the first place for the Jade Emperor, okay? The race to the Jade Emperor's fascist party, the rat took first place. And John Kennedy Jr. was born another year of the rat, and then he went down and on the feast of Our Lady of Mount Carmel died. Uh, on the feast of the Earth Bunny, 
the year that Meadow Pollock was born and the year that Rachel Scott died at Columbine. Very fascinating. God bless.